What's up? It's Reaper's Guide here, and today I'll be showing you my new refugium setup and my new fish. Let's get into the video. The main thing today will be going over my refugium setup, but I did get a goby. I got a Tangaroa goby, and he's acclimating right here. I will finish acclimating him, and I will give a solo video on him in time to come. Alright, so for the refugium, I got... Kato Algae from my local fish store, and I have a 12 watt ache grow light. I got it off of Amazon for $25. I've seen good reviews about it. All the LEDs are red and blue, which are perfect for photosynthesis, which the Kato will be using to grow and prosper. Now, my goal with the refugium is to take some nutrients and away from the algae in my tank and then manually remove the algae, and hopefully, it doesn't come back. So, I will show you how I'm setting up this refugium. So, I have the ache grow light on the box it came in to elevate it so it gets high enough to see into the back chamber where the kale algae will grow. Now, in my innovative marine tank, the filtration goes through the overflow or whatever it's called and through my filtration caddy basket. And then it's going to go into the refugium, which is another system in the back. And I'm using egg crate to cover the Kato algae so it does not overflow and come fall out. So this is the Kato algae I picked up from my local fish store. It gave me a decent amount and it was fairly cheap. It was $10 for the Kato. So now I'm going to place it into the pot part of the tank where I want it as much as I can. It was cheap so I'm not worried if I don't use it all. So as you can see in the second chamber, this is my where my filtration basket is. Then in the second chamber I have the egg light with the refugium, not with the refugium. That's where my refugium is with the Kato algae in there. It will the lights will turn on reverse schedule of my main tank lights in order for the best growth. That's what I've read. And I have the egg crate so the main parts of the Kato algae do not overflow. So there is my a uh, new goby that I got from my local fish store. He is acclimating, temperature acclimating. After I'm done temperature acclimating him, I will drip acclimate him. And then in the future, I will make a video on my goby. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and on my little refugium setup. I'll let you know how the refugium does and how the Kato grows and how everything is. And I'll make sure to get the follow up video on my goby. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of my new Gobi and what you think of my refugium setup. Um, that's it for today's video. Reaper's Guide out.